Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabari here. We're now in the brand new year, 2024. And I finally recover after such a terrible cold that I had during the holiday season. You know, even during Christmas time in 2023, despite of all the great gifts that I got and I had a wonderful Christmas. Yeah wasn't easy to deal with. I started having uh, such a long headache, a stuffy nose, started coughing, and had some gas. You know, something you don't want to hear about. But I finally got better after two weeks. So I'm sure going to continue to do maybe a few more videos here and there, as well as the ones I just posted recently, just to keep it up. Anyway, so that's why I couldn't do the best and worst films of 2023 list video on YouTube and BitChute during the New Year's Eve, like I often do. Sometimes I do it earlier, and I guess sometimes I would do it later. So this was late in the game for me, but that's fine. I just needed to take a huge break from the internet and other videos and stuff. Anyway, I'm wearing my brand new t-shirt that I got during Black Friday at JCPenney. As you all recognize, the dude, Jeff Lebowski, <laughs> El Delorino. I'm the dude, man. <laughs> yeah, the movie that's from the Corn Brothers, um, a Raymond Chandler-esque comedy with Jeff Bridges as the dude himself who is the laziest guy in America but he sure loves to drink some right Russians but of course the two guys had peed on his rug and all that demanding him all the money he has <laughs> but he hangs around with his bowling buddies including Walter played by John Goodman <laughs> and he's joining in with um, their other buddy um, played by Steve Buscemi and of course we get the character Jesus played by John Totoro you know they're sort of nemesis in a way but you also got Julian Moore Ben Gazzara and the entire cast all together yeah awesome and hilarious movie and I do have it on blu-ray I, I hope someday I'll find the 4k and and just sit back and watch it <laughs> yeah lay back okay well you get the idea anyway looking back to 2023 I would say it was a quite decent year you know, I finally got a capture card device that I need to use to capture some more videos that I have in my collection. Even though I'm still uploading videos that I found online because there's a lot of rare stuff elsewhere. So you get the idea. Got some more physical media, you know, 4Ks, Blu-rays, you know, DVDs, I mean, you name it. You know, and I know I've gotten some gifts during Christmas, uh, which I was happy to have, you know, some more peanut stuff. You know, I got the, the astronaut Snoopy from Snoopy in Space, um, plush doll. And I know I have the other plush Snoopy doll and even the Christmas one for the uh, Snoopy's doghouse, so I've been getting much of it. I even got the Charlie Brown and Snoopy Show uh, DVD, a retail DVD from Warner Archive as a gift. I even got the Charlie Brown Christmas uh, puzzle, and so on and so forth. <laughs> yeah, great gifts. And, uh, 
you know, we, as usual, you know, we had, we've done a lot of stuff too going around. Um, I already mentioned this before too, but I'll mention it again, you know, you know, my sister's graduation from university, which was an, a very wonderful time. And, you know, joining in with the family and we got to go out to see movies, ate at this buffet place, everything. That was great times too. And, you know, I had a great birthday as well. For my 38th, almost, uh, <laughs> almost pushing 40 now. I'm going to be 39 this year, though, in 2024. So, okay, I can't wait for that. But everything going around in the world these days, I mean, yes, the strike has been going around, you know, for the, um, yeah, for the writer strike, as well as SAG, AFRA, all of that going around, but I'm, but now they're finally getting a, a testament agreement on all that, so they finally ended. Yeah, that was a difficult time for for the entertainment industry because they were afraid that things are going to get replaced by AI technology, and I know that's been going on. Oh, and so on and so forth. Yeah, you, you get the idea. There's just too much of that, and I know we lost a lot of great celebrities too that I can think of, like Paul Rubens, who's best known for playing P.B. Herman, um, sadly left us. Uh, Tom Wilkinson, a great actor, left us. Um, I just heard Cindy Morgan passed, um, even though it was just mentioned recently, but she actually passed uh, before New Year's. That sucks. I mean, Cindy Morgan, as you may remember her uh, from Caddyshack, and she was in Tron as well. You know, the hot chick. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and I know there were several others that we missed too. And, you know, Raquel Welch also is gone. And, and uh, uh, we, we lost a lot of great people, a lot of great celebrities that I remember. Um, it's just crazy but they always will be remembered by I mean every celebrity around and also friends and family that you care and cherish for always remember and I know there's other hard times going around too even in the LA area with 10 freeway was caught on fire and all that and then other events. But otherwise, um, it was a rather decent year. So, I mean, they were good, they were bad. Different. Yeah. Anyway, um, I want to get into the best and worst films of 2023. But I had to promise everyone to show because I know it took too long to do so. But I'm just happy that at least, you know, I finally got better and, and I'm finally going to get to continue to do what I can. But keep that in mind. Um, I might not be able to do that many videos because pretty soon we, and I hate to say this because I, I can't even believe I'm actually saying this because I know I mentioned this a few years ago, but it doesn't seem like it was happening. But I don't know if this will happen, but we're still trying to look for a new place. It's getting harder and harder these days. So pretty soon we might be moving. I don't know when exactly, for sure. And I know I'm telling the truth on this one because I don't even want to even hear about it at the moment, but I do hope that we do find a much nicer place because I know we've been living in this apartment for so long, like seven years now, if you think about it. So if, if I do find a new place, um, I just hope we we get one for 
all of us so we and that way we can have bigger spacious rooms and something better have room for everything that we have around and take care of things you know and bills and all of that all these errands everything and that way we can have a nice comfortable room for us it's just getting harder these days to find places around especially in the state of california yeah. uh but with that aside um i'm gonna start the video right now so i'm sorry i'm just taking too much of it but that's all i had to deal with anyway let's start with the best films of 2023 
And now, the worst films of 2023.
Well, there you have it. <laughs> My list of the best and worst films of 2023. And I'm glad you enjoyed it for sure. And we'll get ready for the next year, which is 2024, that we're already in already in January. <laughs> so there's going to be even more films coming up. Hoping something that's worth watching, or I mean, good, bad, or indifferent, but we'll see. So, anyway, I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.